Hello there and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 with me, Stucker Claus. How are you? Right, so before we start off, we're going to make this truck road legal. Uh, I've still got the snow mod. I'll probably keep that until after Christmas now, as it is Christmassy. So, first of all though, what I want to do is to thank everybody who's donated to the channel. Um, and what I want to do is uh, upgrade their trucks to put some name plates on. So how do I do that? Uh, relocate, upgrade. So we want to go for the dash cabin. Yes. There we go. There's one driver's plate. And what we're gonna call that one? We're gonna call that Jeremy. There we go. Why is this left hand drive? Co driver would be Minis Cabers. Oh, I can't do Minis Cabers, but that's what it is. Confirm that. And we'll do it with this one. Upgrade the internals. Ah, this is right handed. Good. Don't know what happened with that one. So this one is going to be K Walmsley. K Walmsley. Oh, so it won't let me put the uh, the W. Okay, that's K Walmsley. And this one here is going to be K Welch. Uh, there's one more also that I need to uh, figure out how to to thank him for uh, donating to the channel but on mine I think I might um, yeah I need to find a truck dealer anyway so we'll have a look at that when we come to it but those two are sorted they've got their name plates to so thank you for donating to the channel um, okay let's uh, let's go to drive because before we do anything we're gonna check out oh there you go um, let it snow mod by Boris Lozak and Dalibor. So a big thank you to them for making the mod. Uh, yeah, we're going to drive and we're going to uh, go find. Well, first of all, we're going to discover Glasgow properly, and we're going to go find ourselves a truck dealer where we can sort out our truck. I thought that car wasn't going to stop. Oh, he flushed me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, mate. Oh. Oh, it stopped flushing. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of people are saying about my my, my it's my truck that's broken. That's why I'm sk skidding all over the the place. And then other people are saying uh, it could be the snow. But um, we're going to go sort that out. We're going to fix the. Uh, fixed the truck as well because I had a bit of a bang in my previous episode which I'm not too pleased about okay oh deep snow there's snow underneath the bridge again which is great uh, that's a garage that we can buy I don't really want that Look, I'm in the middle of the road because I keep following the tire tracks and not the actual the road markings. Um, do we need to rest? That's what I was going to ask myself. Next, no, not not yet. Green, let's go. I am out accelerating the car. Oh, the car's turning right. 
I need to get into this lane. Get ready to turn right at the roundabout. Oh, what's that thing there? It's like a big tall building. Is that like you know from Glasgow? Is it that a famous building in Glasgow? If so, leave a comment down below. If not, then don't worry about it. Right, there's our. Uh, oh, it's a daff. Lovely. There's a daff truck dealer. Oh. There's also some of that else down here. I uh, discovered a recruitment agency as well. So let's turn right into here just to turn around. Oh, I don't know what this is. What's, what's this thing? Have we been here before? The recruitment agency is closed. Ah, it's the recruitment agency. Okay. Well, let's do a 35 point turn in the recruiting agency to uh, go into the DAF garage to upgrade our truck. I don't think they mind that we're a Scania and they're DAF, but... Uh, oh god, that's close. Ah, that was close. I wasn't joking about the 35 point turn, was I? Wow. Oh, god. Wow, that daft uh, truck shop looks really cool. It's probably because it's covered in ice. Get it? Cool ice, snow. Okay. Right, let's go fix our uh, our truck. Enter. First of all, give it a good service. Uh, what are we percentage-wise? Yeah, it's fairly knackered. Let's just repair it. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to upgrade it as well, please. Um, I'd like to upgrade this chassis to a double. Oh no, where's my pink scheme gone? Oh no. Well, we need to upgrade it, don't we? So we're let we do that. What else can we upgrade? Can we upgrade our cab to a high line? Yes, we can. What's the difference? It's higher. You pay forty odd thousand pounds for it to be higher. Uh, not at the moment. Uh, we can upgrade our engine. What we are now? We're on the three sixty. Three sixty horsepower. Do we need to upgrade our engine? Maybe not just yet. Uh, standard UK. Yeah, that's fine. Stock of Gloss Gaming. Oh, it takes away my axle though. Uh, accessories. What new accessories can we, can we change the tyres? Oh, Eastern Eagles. Dark, silver, elite rider, or standard. Oh, all right, so people pride themselves on, on their wheels, and well, we, we go Eastern Eagles, baby. Yeah, we haven't finished yet. Um, accessories, we're gonna put some Eastern Eagles on the back as well, I think. Uh, we're gonna upgrade. Yeah, we are gonna go OTT. We're in some good money. Uh, put some Eastern, e Eastern Eagles on you as well. 11 grand. We haven't got 11 grand. We've only got four. What can we do in here? Um, well, I think I might change one of the plates. Uh, DJ Marty, where are you? There we go. Well, we DJ Marty, thank you very much. I will find somewhere else for you to go. Do not worry. Um, but we need to put Robin Crazy on. Robin Crazy. Let's take away a B and a Y. Robin Cry, but that's Robin Crazy. So thank you for donating to the channel. Let's go. Oh, what? Oh, we're minus 4,000. Oh, never mind. 
Never mind. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? You place some items on the Lord. Do you want to cancel all the new truck? Yes, please. Um, paint shop. Yes, we can still get stuck across game in. Although the top of it don't. Yeah, that that paint bar we need to get rid of as well soon. But yeah, we can afford that. Confirm order. Actually, we can do the number plate now because we. No, we're still minus, aren't we? Are we minus. Change this to Crazy Robin or Robin Crazy. Robin Crazy. Or cry. Beautiful. There we go. Well, we've serviced, we've uh, upgraded our axles. So check it out. Now we are, we've got no money. But, you know, we uh, should be a lot safer on the road now. Let's check out our new truck. Hey, look at that. Look at our new wheels, eh? Bling bling. Yeah, liking it. Okay, we need to find a job. Let's go to the job market. Freight. Well, where are we gonna go? No one knows. So, the most profitable one. 24 grand, I think, will be going to Hanover, Duisburg, go back to Calais, we've done that run before, we've done that run, Amsterdam, nice short trip, uh, Plymouth, Kiel, that's miles away, uh, Dortmund, and Cardiff, oh, oh, Cardiff, okay, what, this is a, a mod I downloaded, we are going to carry a yacht. So we might do that one actually. Although I want to go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go Amsterdam. Let's get us back over into the European continent. Um, where was that really short one? Yeah, Amsterdam. Let's do that one. Set GPS. So, uh, yeah, I decided to do the short one because obviously we spent a bit of time playing around here. And uh, hopefully, I could do this as one episode and not two. Um, fingers crossed. Okay, hey, this seems to stop better as well once you've. Uh, when you've got the two back wheels on. Here's another question for you Am I on the wrong side of the road? Here's a question for you guys. Um, in real life, when you see uh, these truck drivers and they're driving their lorry, and they, they've got a double axis, I think that's the chassis, double axis chassis, I think that's a technical term for it. Um, they've always got the one up. Like they, they, they hire the, the one of the wheels up so it's not actually touching the ground. Now, what's the point of that? Doesn't that just t turn the truck into a, a single chassis truck? Or do they just tend to put it down if and when they need it? If you'd like to leave your comments down below. Well, so far we haven't spun out, crashed, and burned yet, so um, I think the new chassis is doing this. Uh, I am speeding though. But well, we need Oscar and Joshua to uh, pull their finger out because we've got no money. Because I keep blinging up my wheels on my truck. Well, it's my company, why not? Uh, we're going to take a left here. Aberdeen. Yeah, 
Yeah, we may need to upgrade our engine, I think, at the next um, time we uh, look at upgrading our truck. It's not so bad at the moment, but I can see later on when we're doing some long distance stuff, it may be a problem. Well, I suppose at the end of the day, six wheels are better than uh, four in the snow. It's uh, five o'clock in the morning, so we've got another day, good day run. That's, that's good. Hang on, we, when have I got to rest? Eight hours time, so that's alright. We're okay. I didn't know whether it was fast forward time as we were uh, repairing our truck, upgrading our truck. I suppose that would be a bit unfair if it had done that because. Uh oh, I took that corner really well. I think we fixed it, peeps. Am I 26 miles away from pickup? Wow. Well, I haven't gone crashing into the side, and I've uh, been taking these corners at 40 miles an hour. Ice road truckers. Yeah, some, somebody said in the comments about. Um, Apparently now you can actually get the game, Ice Road Truckers. I didn't realise that. But I'm looking forward to carrying that yacht. Oh, bit of lag. I'm looking forward to carrying that yacht across uh, the continent. That's a new trailer mod. Which I installed. From that, uh, I'll put another description um, link in the description about the, where I get all the Euro Truck Simulator 2 mods for you guys. Because I'm nice like that. Oh, I didn't realise uh, this trailer was so far away. Is it in Aberdeen, is it? We're on our way to Aberdeen, that'd be pretty cool. You might see some new lorry. Uh, s s s uh, I'll say that again. You might see some new trailers. That's the new trailer mod that we've got installed. Some of the names I haven't heard of, but I think they're mainly European. So a lot of you would know what they are more than I would. Uh, Willy Bets. We all know Willy Bets in DHL. We all know them. Going back, I think this is a quarry site. So this is when we could do with some extra bit of horsepower when we're going up and down down these hills. And uh, thank you for that comment. Somebody left about um, the reason why it felt like the uh, truck was stalling every time because it's selecting the wrong gear. Apparently, it's selecting like uh, the third gear and it should be in the second gear, so it stalled. And the way to combat that is to do it yourself, like choose manual gearing. But guys, really, me, manual gears, concentrating, uh, I don't think it's going to work. Yes, we're going to go over to Amsterdam. Take the job. Your train is ready. Proceed to the loading area. Head towards the green flag. So why is there no snow on this? Why, what, you know, have they got like a roof over the top of the quarry? So, uh, I don't know. Well, I can see there's no uh, there's no roof. Uh, the snow must just choose not to come into the quarry. I 
think it's around this corner. There it is. Oh, it looks like we're picking up one of these big solo things. Right, let's do my 13 and a half point turn again. beacons on there unfortunately otherwise we turn the beacon on but uh right let's go let's make our way uh, to Amsterdam there's no time like the present Yeah, all these arrows are pointing the other way. It gets a little bit confusing as you're trying to exit the uh, the quarry. Come on, you can do it. Come on. C come on. Uh-oh. Uh. Come on. Don't change gear. Stay in this gear. That's it, don't change gear. Uh, I think we're okay now. Woo! So when I said about needing a, a better engine, I think... To stay in first. Okay. We definitely need a bigger engine in our next upgrade. Come on. That's it, first gear. Thank you, Scurry Guard. See you again. Oh, life of a trucker. And there's the snow. Isn't it weird? Taking corners okay, guys. I think uh, we fixed the problem. The reason why I was sliding off everywhere. Wow, 515 miles away. I thought this was going to be a quick episode, but it looks like it's going to take 21 hours. Not real time, 21 hours, because that'd be difficult. But, um, but yeah, it's going to take us a while. Hopefully most of that is the uh, the ferry crossing, but uh, we'll see. As you see the temperature, it's minus one at the moment. And that's fairly warm for Glasgow. <laughs> yeah, please don't shoot me for saying that. No, poor Scotland. They, they do get the, uh, the brunt of the bad weather in the UK. And they never whinge about it either, you know? Oh, that car's let me out. Thank you, sir. You are a gentleman. Same can't be said for these guys. Come on. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, stop flashing. I'm going. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I nearly took the end of his car off my trailer. I bet you're thinking, well, that's the last time I out put the truck out right again. I nearly wiped my car out. Right, we're on the road again. We could sing a bit of Chris Rear, you know, driving home for Christmas, but I'm not going to. Jingle bells? No, stop it. All these Christmas songs are now popping into my head as I'm driving down the road. Well, it seems very much, you know, more stable. I haven't crashed. This is going to be a fairly boring episode for you guys because uh, you're not going to see any fines. You're not going to see any 
crashes, you're not going to see anything uh, illegal. This is going to be a nice, uneventful drive in the snow to Amsterdam from Glasgow. Well, we all know that's a load of rubbish. Something's going to happen along the way, I think. I've got a car overtaking me on a bend in the snow. That's like irresponsible going. Come on. Even the AI in that stupid. Well, I don't know. Although they've been really nice to me this episode, they've let me out and and uh, you know made me feel part of the team. I appreciate it, thank you. Okay, it's a big test, a big sweeping corner. Are we gonna g Are we gonna slide? No. No, we've we're okay. Oh look. Typical bloody rain in again. Slow down a little bit for that corner. Hey, we took that really well. I think we fixed the problem, guys. Or when I say we, uh, more like you, because I would never have thought to have put a di uh, another chassis on me truck. Is that high beam or is that normal? I can't remember. Let's check in a second. Oh, let's turn the beacon on. Don't know why that's off. Um, yes. There we go. We've got all the, uh, hopefully, all the lights on the front now. Not the high beams. I don't think that's fair for the other drivers. Yeah, it have been really nice to me this episode, so. I don't know whether there's a hotkey for what I've just turned on and turned off, but um, it's not a problem. Not a problem. Just press F4 as you're driving. Because that's quite real. You know, as you're driving along the road and, and you want to turn your lights on, and you just press F4 on the car. Whoa, 30 miles an hour. 